Thanks, Dustin. <laughs> so I, I got a problem though. I got an issue. <laughs> so this, this is, we're at Disneyland Paris, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Paris is an hour that way. You can't name things. It's like name if it's like if they named Legoland California, Legoland San Diego. No, that, no reasonable person would call Carlsbad San Diego. <laughs> Debbie, 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 can we go on Buzz Lightyear Astro Buzz Lightyear, please? Yes, of course. Yay! <laughs> same way. Different country, same result. Matt wins at Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast. The baggage will be able to 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 uh, perfect, uh, right on time. First Buzz Lightyear speaking French, now C3PO. Not sure I can handle this. It's a crisp 20 degrees, a little, uh, a little cloudy. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain. Uh, what do you think of the park so far, Stephanie? It's really cool. It's like walking through an alternate reality to zoom in. Yeah, it lacks that certain uh, je ne sais quoi. Okay, so we just rode the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril here. Completely different ride. Like, who would care? <laughs> it's a roller coaster with a uh, 360 degree loop de loop in it. Basically, sort of like a smaller California Screamin'. Um, yeah, it was really fun, but it was just, like completely different. Time for Hyperspace Mountain! So I just rode Hyperspace Mountain because I was a little bit scared of going on another roller coaster with a loop. I chickened um, out. Yeah, but oh my gosh, it was awesome. This, uh, this version was like normal Space Mountain times two, like faster. There was a loop, there were like two corkscrews. It was, it was crazy. It was, it was like a legit space battle, I would say. It was very fun. <laughs> Did you yeah. get your blasters out? No, I didn't. Did no. It was all happening so fast. My Uber showed up late, of course, and now they have no clue how to drive. They're bouncing all over the place. This is ridiculous. It's gonna give us a one star. Stephanie's excuse is it's a right-hand drive, so she has no idea what she's doing. Let's see if It's a Small World is just as annoying in French as it is in English. Here's the verdict. It was cute. It Still was... annoying, and not, also not in French, as you can tell. Definitely well, in English. It's because it's in all the different languages, but I couldn't tell when they were speaking. I French. wanted it all in French. <laughs> is that too much to ask? Apparently. How do we know which way to go? Left, left. Three hours later. Did you survive? It was close. It was close.
why people died so young back in the olden days. Killed them, almost killed myself walking on these cobblestone pavers. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that view out there. It's so green. explains the Paris housing crisis. Okay, mom, I think I figured out what we should do for a front yard. The front yard have a, uh, a fountain there with some gold statues on it, and then have uh, grass around it in this cool little shape. Granted, you're gonna have to make it a little smaller because the front yard isn't this big, but I still think it's the way to go. Legit if the name of the store is just Food Center. So something else we learned today, for Euros they have a, a one cent coin, a two cent coin, a five cent coin, a ten cent coin, and a fifty cent coin. Oddly enough, I'm pretty sure they don't have a twenty-five cent coin. Finally getting crepes. I got Nutella au Chantilly. I don't, know how, to, I don't know how to say what Matt got, but he got stewed apples. Des pommes. Des pommes. Pom, pom is apple, de pom. So Stephanie, what do you think of uh, the palace of Versailles? It's pronounced Versailles. Um, the palace of Versailles was beautiful. <laughs> Elegant. Majestic. <laughs> A little extravagant, a um, little over the A top. little? <laughs> no. We were walking on the grounds and I felt like we were walking through some kind of national park with like gold everywhere, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, it was really awesome to see, you know, where the royals lived and where Marie Antoinette and all that happened and where a lot of the French Revolution took place in a way. I still, um, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around the idea that at one point that building didn't exist and then someone said hey we need this giant building can you design it perfect that looks great let's build this now yeah it's pretty crazy uh who do we have to thank for those tickets Stephanie? thank you to michelle and matthias for helping us get into the palace and the gardens uh we're sitting here working on one of the videos and i just realized this is the th Third day in Paris? Fourth day in Paris? I have no idea. <laughs> it's a day in Paris. And we still haven't done, and we haven't done a hotel tour yet. And the reason is because this is a boring hotel. <laughs> yeah. And TBH. it's like a normal, boring, regular hotel. I can show you the outlets that are different. Here we go. It's a little two-pronger with a ground poking out of it. 